Got a new dev update for Marvel Snap. Let's check it out. I have not seen this. It's kind of creepy, man. Ebony Mall. Okay. A lot, of, a lot of Thanos? Black Order? Hey man. I like the theme so far. Very hot topic. <laughs> Looks good. Maybe. Whoa. It's Ben Brode from Second Dinner, and I'm so pleased you could all make it out to our monthly ritual. A new season of Marvel Snap. I know we like to keep secrets around here. His voice. But this next season features some of the most ruthless and deadly bad guys in the entire Marvel multiverse. The Black Order. These aliens. It's pretty cool, right? I think. Maybe. I'm not gonna lie, I don't An know much about the Black Order. recruited personally by the Mad Titan Thanos. Behold! Oh. Black Swan! Mm. The soul Until the end of next turn, your one cost cards cost zero. Uh, that's, that's pretty nice. And it's 3-5. Wait, 3-5 is good stats. Uh, and then all your one cost cards will cost zero. So if you have a bunch of one costs in your hand, you kind of just throw them all out on the last turn, maybe? Hopefully also maybe throwing priority so you don't get like killmonger or something. Maybe that's the line here. But I feel like generally you're not going to have too many one cost cards in your hand. But maybe there's some synergy I'm not thinking about. The card seems okay. Old survivor from Earth 1365. Her powers rival Captain Marvel. Black Swan is Thanos' best bet to claim all six Infinity Stones. So in Marvel Snap, when you play Black Swan, yeah, all good, your one good cost with cards are free next turn. Did you hear that? Free! I guess you don't save it for a last turn flurry, sort of flourish thing. You just, you play it probably in a Thanos deck with a lot of stones that end up drawing cards. Hopefully this doesn't seem like stones a Thanos season. for your Thanos deck. Oh, stop it! Revealing our sacred stones won't summon the Mad Titan. That's just an urban legend. This season, there are new Black Order cards releasing every single week. Starting with Super Giant. She's a devious psychic who can mentally possess multiple... All cards played next turn don't reveal until the game ends. Yeah, this was leaked as something way more OP. I think it was like a one drop, so you could kind of just play it whenever. Um, but... Now it's kind of like Lumeria, that location, but on a on a stick, right? And that stick is it's not good. Four five is terrible stats. Um, that's like it's it's really bad. You would need a really strong turn five play uh, in order to make this kind of worth it. I'm trying to think of what would make it worth it. Uh, maybe you throw this in Zabu decks and you use like Shang Chi and tech cards that kind of just reveal themselves on the last turn or you could just put invisible woman behind it but it does also apply to your opponent right uh so that would that would be interesting um yeah the nerfed version of this not looking nearly as good as the earlier data mind version targets the server master's will and in marvel snap she wields that power to prevent all cards played next turn from revealing until the game ends. Super Giant is a disruptive card that works well with Zabu and is yeah. a great tech option against Leech, Professor X, and Annihilus. Oh. Call Obsidian. I guess it kind of tacks against those if that's what you want to use it as to counter their turn 5 play. Instead of enabling your turn 5 play, uh, you kind of possibly disable theirs or if there's a card they really want to get the value of on turn five they might not get that for turn six for i guess scar for example trying to discount them by two uh, there's a lot of things professor x as they said leech 
some uh, big metal bullets. Largest member of the 410. You can only play this where you have a one cost card. This is crazy, dude. This is crazy stats uh, at a 410. Really good stats. It is Shang Chiable. Has to be played where there's a one cost card. So I guess that could end up being kind of awkward. But um, seems like, yeah, maybe, maybe Zoo decks are getting a bit of an update here. Uh, goes hand in hand with Thanos decks as well. Starting to get more worried about Thanos just being even better when it's already a strong deck. But I think the thing with Thanos is generally people play like big things in it and kind of ramp or use like Lockjaw at the moment. Uh, I think they want it to be more of like a play, play, play small things. I hope it's more like zoo centric, which is probably not the case, but that's what I would like for Thanos personally. Black Order. He carries a big hammer and boasts unbreakable skin. You call that so a hammer? Marvel Snap, you Looks can like an axe. Only play him in the location with a one cost car. Call Obsidian packs a punch in decks with a lot of one cost cards. It's, it's a Tuma adjacent, right? But the condition is a lot less hard to meet, I would say. Always Glade, the ruthless general of Thanos' army. Corvus Glaive, uh, discard two cards from your hand to get plus one max energy. Uh, that's really good. If you want to discard, it's kind of like, it's like health, hell cow, right? But better? Why not, why not run this over hell cow? Um, the plus one max energy, you play this on three, on turn four you have five energy, on turn five you have six energy, on turn six you have seven energy. If there's a turn seven, you have eight energy. So that really adds up. This just seems like it's going to be core, a staple card and, and discard decks. Um, especially ones that were more like Modoc focused. Maybe not so much Hella, because you can hit a card you really don't want to hit. Mostly Hella herself. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is probably really good for Swarm. Uh, Wolverine sort of sort of builds old uh, Modoc builds. Yeah. He willingly sacrifices his own Apoc. soldiers to Apoc. please his Discard. master. So when you play Corvus Glaive, he discards two cards. In well, what is this? Four seven. Proxima Midnight. We'll probably see that later. Games for plus one max energy. Hit and the finally, mic as well. Whoa. Proxima Midnight. How'd they get this angle? They get a drone above this guy? The daughter of Thanos. All right. Uh, yeah, a four seven. When this discarded jumps to your lowest power location, that isn't full. Isn't this busted? Isn't this crazy good? You just put this again in Modoc decks or in uh, whatever that Corvus card we just saw. Uh, it's a 4 7, but it's almost like a 0 7 because you're going to discard it. That's very good. Jumps to your lowest power location. I guess it could bone you at times if it's, uh, what is it, bar with no name. Um, but it might help you if it's like Luke's bar or Sanctum Sanctorium, right? This seems like an absolute staple in discard decks. Perhaps the best pure fighter in his army, and is never easily defeated. So when Proxima Midnight is discarded from your hand, she escapes to your lowest power location. Oh, and she obviously works really well in a deck with her evil husband, Corvus Clay. It's her husband? Good to know. Yeah, why play Cow when you got Corvus? I guess just an insurance policy. Relationship goals, y'all. <laughs> Relationship goals. Everyone, Dude, this the is cool. Following locations will make your matches extra sinister this Black Order season. Black Vortex. Black Vortex. Add a random Infinity Stone to your hand. Oh, for both players. That's uh, that's interesting. Sanctuary two. First card you play here becomes a random six cost card. Ooh, that'll be chaotic. That'll be fun, I think. And sanctuary too. I hate it. Th these both really lean towards the one cost card sort of decks, right? You get more value if your one cost turns into a six cost or a zero cost turns into a six cost, but not if you're playing like a five drop or a four drop. Um, Black Vortex. I don't know. I hope it's more zooey, but I'm scared for Thanos just oh, reigning supreme. Chill out, everyone. 
Just because we're assembling the sacred stones doesn't mean he'll fly here and torture us and seize them with deadly force. But who wouldn't want to grab these season pass variants for death, <laughs> Ebony Ma, and Black Swan? Dude, this is great. Dude, this is a good bit. Before we get blasted, check this out. There are four new albums and emotes every week. Archim Heroines, Pixel Discarder, Low Cost, High Impact, Destroy All Pixels. Four new Ooh. albums dropping each Ooh. week with these awesome new. Whoa, okay. I like all of these actually. These are they're kind of fun. I like this. And don't miss an epic. Art Germ Takeover. Oh, we got Mamma Mia Killmonger finally coming out. Along with everything else as well. Um, these are good. February 29th. Okay. Art Germ Shop Takeover later in the month. Hopefully. Oh, oh no, they're definitely all going to be 1,200 gold, aren't they? Wait! I had more to tell everyone! Thanks for playing and supporting Marvel Snap! The Black Order season's going to be a blast! See you next time! Oh, what a world! What a world! Diddy's a voice actor. What the heck? That was cool! I enjoyed that. Hey man, these are always a lot of fun. I love these dev updates. Like, they, they don't have to do them, but I feel like it... It, it just... It's, it, it, makes, it makes me happy. I enjoy them. I think you guys enjoy them too, right? I don't know, but... Um, yeah, looking forward to next season. Let me know what you think about the cards. I just gave you kind of my brief thoughts i don't always make these videos i used to should i just go back to doing these every time there's a dev update i don't know uh yeah i am probably gonna be streaming very soon if you want to check me out on twitch television see ya